Hey y'all, how are y'all? Erica with Wallace House is on today for our virtual paint party for our template to Wednesday releases. I am excited because tonight, or today, 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 because it's 10 a.m., right? We're painting our floral. Can I Why? Oh, you want to see? In that bud, our yeah. floral wine barrel. I'm excited. Where's the day we can turn it on? What, baby? Where's the day we can turn it on? No, you don't need to turn that on. Why? Because you don't need to. Okay, so. Oh, be careful. All right, I got my comments pulled up. Let's make sure I can see them. Marie! Cherish! And Teresa. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm having to like get really close to the camera. All right. How are y'all doing this morning? How are you doing? It is a Wednesday morning. I thought I'd be, you know, it was really stormy last night. And so doing it in the studio was a, not going to happen because I did not want to fall coming back in the rain. And then um, doing it in the house, it's just the dog during a thunderstorm not fun. So I just saved y'all from all the noise and all the mishaps that could have happened. I just figured, ah, earbuds for the wind. Dana's got her earbuds. Hi, uh, hey Rosie. Hey Pam. How are y'all doing? Deidre, Deidre made it. Yes, Ashley made it. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial because we all have things to do this morning. I know some of y'all are at work. I'm sorry. Um, but I figured, hey, let's let's switch it up. We always paint at night. I love, these are my best hours. Like, this is me. This is me at 10 a.m. in the morning. So, if you're not a morning person, I'm sorry. <laughs> these are my best hours. Hey, Jamie. Okay, let's get into the tutorial, y'all. We're going to go full table. So, we're going to go backwards, upside down, and there we go. And we do have little Miss Raylene hanging with us today. Let's see if I can get a little bit more by getting y'all a little higher. My Archon is super tight. It's not wanting, maybe if I hold it down and we're gonna force it. It's a little better. Sorry y'all, don't mean to jostle y'all around. That's better. All right, there we go. Okay. So we're gonna start by painting our wine barrel. And with our wine barrel, the each slat is a different shade of brown. We're gonna mix up two or three different shades of browns and we're gonna start with a dark one. This is Asphaltum. I hope I'm saying that right, Asphaltum. But you could also use something like Burnt Umber. Raylin, baby. Oh, y'all know what I didn't do? I did not grab, no, there's some white. I don't think I'll need any black today. I did put it on the paint list just because Mommy. if you didn't have a paint pen. What, baby? Um, can you do more on now? Well, baby, if I'm painting, I can't turn the laser on. Okay? If you go play with your Barbies for a little bit, I might let you paint. Hey, listen to me. Don't whine. If you go play with your Barbies for a little bit, at the end, I'll let you paint when I'm finishing up. How about that? No, that's not going to work. You want to go watch Jack and Sally in your room? Okay, well, if you head over to your room, I'll get Jack and Sally going. And I'll get the movie. I know, I've already got it, baby. Okay, so let me get her movie going. Okay. Here. There we go. This is how we do it'll load. Okay, so let's get to painting while we're writing on that. I don't have a paint rag. That's something I don't have. That can't happen. I thought I was fully prepared today, but I do have paper towels. I hate using paper towels, but we'll do it. We'll do it just for time's sake. All right, let's get her movie going so we can have a little peace. See, Jack and Sally is Nightmare Before Christmas. She loves Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas. And we don't let her have um, access to anything in her room. She has to ask. She has to ask for it. Okay. Now, we're gonna grab Old Trusty. Let me know when it's playing in your room, baby. Jack and Sally are my favorite. I know, Marie. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. All right, it should be playing in her room. She should be good to go. All right. Oh yeah, I can hear it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna just put on my palette, I have the asphaltum and I have white. We're gonna turn that down just a wee bit. We have asphaltum and we have white. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that asphaltum and white. It's gonna be a darker brown than a, as we're starting off. I don't want straight up, straight from, I don't want straight from the bottom brown. And I'm gonna pick, see there's a slat, there's a slat. So these two are not gonna be the same color. I'm gonna go every third. So I'm gonna do that one and that one. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. And up on the chisel. There we go. And I'm not over blending it. I did not mix a complete new color. I just added both to my brush. I'm not being super careful about it because remember, I'm gonna come back and paint this one, right? I'm just painting this one, one color. And one way you can get the, the wood grain in is you can use, I pulled it out, but I don't think I'm gonna use it, is a chip brush. Once it, everything is completely dry. What, baby? You need what? What do you need? No, we will get him down after mommy's done painting, okay? You just watch your movie and play with your Barbie. I don't know what she's trying to get. Well, then you, okay, baby, I'm not gonna yell across the house. You need to come in here and talk to me if you need me. Watch her come in here. She said, I can't hear you. Watch her come in here. Let's see, you heard that, didn't you? Y'all, she is sassy. She, has, she is sassier than her sassy bun yesterday. A lot of y'all messaged me back. It was like, that walk is a little sassier than that bun. <laughs> she does have a very sassy walk. She walks into places like she owns them. She cracks me up. Okay, so the way I'm getting my wood grain is I'm just messy painting. I'm just lazily painting the white and the brown in there, but making sure it stays brown heavy. Allowing some of that, that white to peek through just to create depth in the, the potential wood grain. Yes, okay, so now for this slat and this slat, because I'm gonna go every third one, so we painted this one. Now I'm gonna paint this one, and I'm gonna paint the last one. I'm gonna mix more white in. I'm gonna mix more white in and again, I'm not gonna be super careful on this bare edge. I'm just gonna be up on the chisel and get it in there. Now, when I get to this edge, I am gonna be careful because I want it to overlap this nice and pretty. Okay, and remember I'm picking up a little bit more white than I did with the first set. Okay, and you'll see a theme once we get to the, to the last set. So you can go every other slat, or like you can do what I did, and you can go every third slat. All right, if I'm up on the chisel, and I'm painting very carefully along this edge. She just closed her door, which is a good sign. That means she has accepted the fact that she has to go play in her room for a little bit. Usually she'll give me a, a, a bit of a fit. I don't want, I want to be with you. And I, as much as I want her to be with me, I know that we can get this done more efficiently. If she lets mommy just paint and then we can go spend some time together. She is getting to an age where she can, she's understanding that. Since mommy works from home, it's hard for her to tell and see what mommy is doing, what I'm doing. I'm talking to y'all like, like, like I, I explain it to her. I'm sorry. Um, I, she can kind of see what I'm doing. She, she understands that I'm not just sitting here painting for fun sometimes. I am painting because that's what mommy does whenever she's working. And so she's starting to understand that. And it's, it's getting to a point where she's She's learning that she has to give me that space every once in a while and that she can't always be involved in it. 
because if she's wanting something like my time, if she's wanting my quality time, she's got to let me finish what's it getting in the way of our quality time, which is sometimes designing or, or um, and I can't always do everything in the wee hours of the night or the wee hours of the morning when she's sleeping. I think my entire family is starting, like after this, this being a, a thing for the last couple of years, I think they're finally getting the grasp of, I've gotta have some dedicated time, even though they may be in my presence. There's got to be some dedicated time where I cannot be interrupted. And the other day, we all had a, a family meeting, not specifically about that, but it came up. And I was able to voice something I've been needing to voice ever since I started doing this full time. And it was, I need the respect that you are freely given. I have to demand it and I have to set boundaries where you are, you have built in boundaries. My husband goes to work, my son goes to school, and eventually Ray Lynn will go to school. And that is a built in boundary. They don't have to remind people, hey guys, I'm, I'm doing my school work right now. Is there any way that we can table this conversation for, for when I, I can devote my entire attention to you? Like they don't have to do that because they have work, you know, like they, they have that built in time where it's, it's automatically assumed when my husband leaves for the day, I automatically assume he's unavailable unless it's an emergency. When my son goes to school, I automatically know he's unavailable until he comes home. And even then he's still unavailable till he, he's informed me he's done with his homework. When you work from home, you don't get that. When you work from home, you don't you don't get that completely understood boundary by your loved ones. Okay, so now I'm picking up pretty much all white with a hint of the asphaltum. Mommy. Yes, baby. I have to get my blanket. All right, well, you grab your blanket. You can go watch Jack and Sally. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm so excited for you. Mommy, I'm a big girl. You are a big girl. Definitely. Why I need to be a big girl? Because that's just what we do. Oh. Sometimes we don't want to be a big girl, but we have to be a big girl. Oh. You like big girls? You like big girls? I, li I like being a big girl sometimes. Mommy, that's not right. What's not right? Well, you know what? It's just paint. It doesn't have to be right. No, Mommy. It has to straight. Well, I, I will do stripes eventually, but I have to get these parts. Can, can you do uh, zebra stripes? Can I do zebra stripes? Zebra. Um, probably not on this one, but I will teach you how to do zebra stripes. How about that? Yeah. Perfect. Like I'm s okay. Down. So I am just kind of lazy painting this this light color in. I'm gonna need some more white because I scooped up practically all my white. But yeah, I, we were able to sit down and really, you know, ex I was able to express why I get frustrated when they just want, we're just trying to talk to you. We just wanna do this. And I was able to, to voice it respectfully. Well, I try not to, I give you the respect of when you're in school and when you're in work at work that you have to focus to do the very best to your ability. And that's all I ask of you when you go to work and when you go to school. I don't have that boundary. I don't have that clock, you know, that clock where I clock in and I don't have that school bell that rings that tells me it's time to get, you know, get into work mode. And I don't have that, that schedule and that clock and that, and that school bell that tells everyone around me I'm unavailable until I'm done with my work. Um, I have to, I have to have faith that y'all just understand that and that y'all don't hold it against me that, that I have to set that boundary. And, uh, you know, they find that it finally clicked. But one with them being men, like she's still young enough that she, you know, we did not make her part of that conversation. She was allowed to go play, but she is starting to get it just from being a part, you know, watching mommy and being home with me while this, this is the process for us. 
Now, luckily, she will go to preschool in the fall, and I will have, I will not have to have that conversation as much because I will not have, I will not have, you know, that, that feeling of I need to spend as much time with her now while she is home. You know that. So, I am excited about that, but I am going to miss her. I'm already crying over missing her. Okay, so I'm going to clean this edge up right here. I'm going to add some more brown. Because I'm looking at the other slats, and I'm loving how the lazy painting really just kind of flowed in there. And I was... I was really safe with this one, the first set that I did. So I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna base coat it brown. So all I'm doing, I do have a dirty brush, but it is it is just plain brown on my brush. I'm not adding any white, I'm just plain brown. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna base coat it brown. And I'm gonna come back in with just a little, oh, I got a lot of paint there. I'm just gonna base coat it brown get some better clean edges and then I'm gonna come back in with just a little bit of white there we go in fact there was just enough white hiding in my brush that that was able to that was able to do its job there I didn't have to pick any up oh man I'm, lo I'm loving the different slats I'm glad I went with three browns instead of two in the mock-up, there's two. There's two browns. But I am glad I decided to switch it up this morning and go with three shades. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up a, you know, just a, there's a little bit, you can't even tell. I'm just adding just a little bit on my brush and just kind of wisping it in. Perfect, we're gonna leave it alone. Cleaning my brush and I am stopping with the brown. All right. I'm blow dry this and catch up on some comments. This is so pretty, thank you, Pam. Okay, so Lori's at work, I'll have to watch the replay to check out that shading and blending. It's, it's a fun paint, that is a very relaxing paint. I love being able to do an entire background of wood slats because it is relaxing you want some paint therapy that technique right there that is good paint therapy because you could do that all day long and not mess it up Leela is like free Leela works from home too Pam is saying yes the adults need to understand that too see my husband has a hard time grasping it he gets it you know he totally gets it but he has a hard time understanding when I'm working, when I'm not. Because even when I'm not, it, when I'm working, kind of looks like I'm playing to him because with it being a crafty business. Do you only do door hangers or do you paint other stuff too to sell? Uh, Jamie, I paint other stuff, but primarily I teach door hangers. Now I will be teaching more than just door hangers. I will be teaching more than just door hangers um, from here on out. I have, a, I have a huge plan. I sat down and planned out a lot of things over the last couple weeks, and I have uh, some really big things coming, coming down the pipeline uh, for the next year or so. And I mean, I'm not like, when I say big things, I just mean like things I'm excited about. Like nothing, nothing, major like no no new group or anything like that all right is it freezing up on anybody i just want to double check and make sure we are okay my ipad is struggling i just want to make sure it's just my ipad let me go out and come back in okay give me just a second i think it's just my ipad I do have a backup iPad. I have, I have, uh, la, la, la. let me get my words out. Use your words, Erica. I have invested in a second iPad. Um, what I use for business is an iPad Pro just because it has that. Yes, it keeps freezing. I don't know why. Freezing several times. 
Huh. Okay, so it just makes sure. Oh, wait, I bet you I know why. Let me turn off. Let's try it this way. Let's see if this is better, okay? Good thing I have unlimited data. Because <laughs> this could get ugly. Um, let's see if that works. All right, I'm going to go back out. Come back in. All right. Let me move a little bit. Sometimes it, it needs to pick up on movement. Okay, it's still. Give me just a second. I want to make sure y'all can see this. Doodle doodle doo boom. Boom. This seems to be better. All right, let's 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 roll with this setup. Um, let's see if it does better. Okay. I love the color on your nails. Oh, thank you. I told them I wanted watermelon color. This does seem to be doing better. Okay, it's not okay. So what I did was I closed Facebook and re like I cleared it out of the background and then I reopened it. If you're on a device, now if you're on a computer, you're probably doing just fine. Um, I closed Facebook, cleared it out of my background apps and then reopened it. That sucks, I'm sorry. I don't know if it's Facebook struggling or if it's my actual connection, but I turned Wi-Fi off. I'm just rolling on, I'm just gonna roll on to, um, what is that called? Cellular. And it's doing much better on my end. Like on my iPads, not glitching at all. Okay, so this is going to be the fun part. I do need to blow dry this one last time because this one little spot needs to be completely dry before I use this. But we're about to use my favorite silver in the Deco Art line. And it is the Extreme Sheen 10. I love this. So we're about to do our bands that color. A lot better okay so we're gonna put a little bit of that okay you need to mix it really good extreme sheen go I'm gonna get I don't know let me see I'm gonna bump down in brush size. I'm gonna go one step down. It's about a, a, a half inch brush. That extreme sheen. We're gonna go sideways. I'm gonna start on this snow. I, I want to. I really wanna give this one last little minute to dry, but. Up on the chisel. I love this stuff. I got this in a kit. Got this in a kit. I never really use metallics in the two ounce bottles, but I bought this kit on a whim. And it had some colors that I don't normally use in the deco art line. They're just not my go-to colors, but it had this in there and I'm like, oh man, I loved it. Okay. Okay. Now, if you really want this uh, silver to pop, you can paint uh, gray or even black. Sometimes black will make a metallic silver pop. It only works well if it's not a streaky silver, and this is not. This one lays down really nice and smooth. It's not streaky at all. You will get brush strokes, but it really self levels really nice. And it, um, you, it, it's a no fuss. It really is a no fuss paint, which is hard to find in a metallic. Okay. So I was telling y'all about my iPad, um, 
my iPad Pro, which is the one that I've used for the last three years, my iPad Pro um, is still working like a champ, but Procreate is starting to glitch on it a little bit. And it's just because I use that Procreate. <laughs> I mean, obviously I use it a lot. <laughs> um, I probably use it. I honestly don't think I know anybody who uses it more than me personally. I'm not saying that there's not, there's some fine people who do actual art, not arts and crafts. <laughs> Cause to me compared to some forms of art, this is art. And, this is arts and crafts compared to the, you know, people who do actual portraits and, but I, I mean, I design about, I mean, upwards over 40 designs a month. And, and so mine's constantly running and that it takes a lot of, it takes a lot of the everything inside the that because it's a little mini computer remember it takes a lot of that little mini computer brain to run that program and so mine doesn't get the break that it needs in between usage and I, i'm straining it i'm putting some strain on it so when i realized it was glitching not necessarily the app like the actual ipad itself when it was when it's glitching i went ahead and purchased a second one just so i can use these this one for actual business use because with the pro the pro is like a little mini computer it has a lot of features that kind of bridge the gap between a tablet and a macbook okay now is it a macbook absolutely not do not confuse them they are completely different and they should not uh, it should not be con it should not be expected to run like a computer but it does like it has some really cool features that the other iPads don't have and that's why when pe people want an iPad Pro but don't want to spend the money that's the thing that I usually tell them is it comes with more storage it comes with faster speeds and uh, it has a lot of things that are, are more computer like than a regular iPad if you're just wanting an iPad so that you can use procreate or to go live, you know, if you're wanting it just for a specific reason, I would not spend the extra money on a pro. I would get an Air. I have an Air 4. So, I went ahead and invested in my second iPad so that one can be solely Procreate, just Procreate, and the other one can run my business. Those metal bands really, really bring it to life, don't they? Okay, so let me see how dry. Oh, that's not very dry. Let's dry it a little bit longer. Because we're about to do one more step to these bands. I dislike that we don't have low login for Procreate so that we can have our designs on our device. Hold on, I can't. Let me get closer to that. Slightly off topic, but I don't, I, I dislike that we don't have logins for Procreate so that we can have our designs on any device that has Procreate. Now, you can share the Procreate app between devices. I was able to not have to invest in the procreate app twice with my new ipad i was able to restore purchases through my apple id but you're right I, it is frustrating because i really do like the fact of being able to um use things that i have already used as reference or to have my brushes that i have created because i've created a bunch of brushes that i use i i use a lot of stock brushes but I've created my own brushes that make my job as a designer easier for myself. Um, and, and I would love to be able to just do that. But now I've got to either recreate the brush or figure out how to share it over to my new iPad. Ah, uh, thank you for the wine barrel. Diana, this one was just for you. This one was just for you. So y'all know I do a, um, once a month, I ask for template requests. 
and I go through those, and if it's one that can be universally used, like obviously I can't do very specific mascots as a, um, as a template to Wednesday release or an Erica's template tribe release because it, it would, it would not be um, across the board. It wouldn't be able to be versatilely used. Now, if you want a custom design, I have some girls, uh, girls, ladies, let me be respectful. I have some ladies that um, have been designing for a while and they do a very, very good job. And they do custom work. And um, I can put you in touch with them if you need a custom design. But I do, okay, so this is that Georgia Clay. I put a little bit of Georgia Clay on my brush. This is the perfect rust color. So I'm just going to kind of whisk this in. It's very light on my brush, and I'm just kind of kind of dry brush it on there. Okay, so I'm dry brushing it on the edge, and I'm just kind of bringing it in to the band. And I'm just letting my brush run out. And I'm being very careful not to get it. on the brown. I just wanna keep it on, on the band. And I'm just gonna do it on both sides. They don't have to be even as far as how much, like I, I don't need to come in this far on this end. I mean, breast really just kind of creeps. I'm gonna do some circular motions to kind of keep it organic. This is a flat brush but you do not have to use a flat brush. You can use whatever brush you want, and I just kind of smooth it out. There we go. There we go. There's so many different ways to do rust. All right, we're gonna pick up just a little bit. Let's see. I do custom, yep, Ashley's one of them. She does custom designs. But if you want a custom design, just, you know, send me a message. I get you in touch with some of the girls. And depending on the style that you're looking for, they all do different types of styles. I can curate some, some connections between y'all. And Ashley does very pretty, I call them, like, she does some whimsical, and she does the whimsical well, but what I feel like she does well, and she may, I don't know, she may not like me saying this, but I feel like she does pretty well like she does pretty like this where this is not this is not whimsical right this is this is a barrel I did not uh cartoon it up she does pretty well um and it's hard doing doing pretty designs it's hard because proportions are very important when you're wanting something not necessarily to look realistic realistic is hard on procreate um that's when uh, you're getting into that, that fine arts. Ashley does pretty well, and she gets de she's detailed with her designs, and that's why they they end up looking pretty. Like they're, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of someone who does whimsical well. I mean, we I mean whimsical is across the board. We have so many people who do whimsical, but there are not a lot of people who put out pretty farmhouse. There's a lot of whimsical farm, farmhouse, but there's not a, there's not a huge pool of pretty sophisticated farmhouse. Does that mean, sophisticated is not the word I'm looking for, but it's the only word that my 10 a.m. brain can drum up. Hello, hello, finally here, Debbie. I'm so excited that you were able to join. Yeah, Ashley, uh, she's in my paint studio, and she she uh, draws on a regular basis, and there are times where she will throw a design against the wall and ask for uh, feedback, and honestly, before feedback is even given, I am like, girl, that thing is perfect. Leave it alone, but there are times where she, she'll take it one step further, and I'm like, I wouldn't have even thought about that. She has an eye for things that just make things pretty does it does that i mean there's not another word for it it's just pretty yes ashley is totally pretty farmhouse like pretty farmhouse if that was even a term 
It is now. We just made it, Ashley. We just made it a term. It's pretty farmhouse. There's whimsical farmhouse, and then there's pretty farmhouse. Whimsical can be pretty, though. But y'all know what I mean. I'm probably offending somebody out there. I hope I'm not. I, I have no intention to offend absolutely nobody. Oh, it's freezing again. Oh, thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. When you're a designer, you always worry about... All right, so I'm mixing leaf green with white just to tone it down. Um, and I'm base coating these leaves. Now, in the mock-up, these leaves are... I would say they're more so Hauser uh, Light than leaf green. But I kind of wanted these to pop really, really good. So I want to use something that's, let me make sure this is leaf green and not festive green. Okay, good. I'm not a big fan of festive green as a leafy color. It can be, but it's not my favorite. It's too Crayola green. As a designer, we stress over, over is, is some, just as much as door hanger artists stress over, is my client going to like what I painted for them? We stress over, are our clients going to like what we designed for them? And I stress every month, what's going to flop? Like, I hope this doesn't flop. I hope this doesn't, um, I hope this can be used. I hope this can bring somebody revenue into their, into their business. Because that's, that's the whole point of me designing is I want to design something that you can use. I don't necessarily want to design something just for me. I could draw for myself all day long. What I want to do is I want to draw something that you can take to a farmer's market or that you can post on your page for paint party options. And I want you to be able to support your family or support your, <laughs> what I call your bad habit. <laughs> your trips to the craft store. <laughs> that's what I used to call it. Whenever, before I had a business, my husband would be like, it's the worst, it's the best bad habit you've ever had because it could be worse. That was the running joke. It could be worse. It could be drugs. Where's all the money going? I was like, well, there are three trips to Hobby Lobby this week. And he would just look at me, shake his head. And he goes, well, it could be worse. It could be drugs. So that was the running joke. So all I'm doing Oh, I just realized y'all can't see that. Um, all I'm doing is I'm paint, base coating in the new mixture of festive green and white. And then at the very end, I'm coming in and I'm just swiping a little bit of white on the on one corner of one side. So I'm going to base coat. Now I do have both white and green on my brush. And I'm not completely blending them, but I'm not really paying attention to it either. I'm just base coating. And then I put a little bit of white on a corner. I'm gonna pick a side and I'm just gonna highlight and blend that in. And that's gonna, that's gonna play the game of light hitting that leaf. And it's gonna light that leaf up without you having to do a whole lot of work. My goal at the end of this is to not have to use these paint pens that I dug around in my paint party box for before our live. I went ahead and grabbed them just in case. But every time I sit down to paint something, my goal is to shade this well enough that the shading does all of that eye-catching separation work for me. Does that make sense? Um, I want to create the starts and stops of different elements with the shading and not a paint pen. I have been painting door hangers long enough now that I feel like I can graduate from the paint. I love paint pen for certain things. Whimsical designs, I feel like paint pen livens them up so much. Those thick black lines. But on a pretty farmhouse, huh, Ashley? <laughs> on a pretty farmhouse, I feel like when you get comfortable enough with shading, you should be able to let your shading do the talk, do the talking. And so that's my goal. I want to work on my shading enough to where it's doing all the talking and I don't have to rely on my paint pen to tell your eye where to stop and start the next element. It's a goal. I don't always achieve it, but I do start every project as if 
that's how I want it to end up. Okay, I'm gonna paint this leaf first before I come back and paint these last leaves. I just laid my elbow on this. Hope Now I'm hoping it was wet, I mean dry. I'm hoping it was dry so that I don't smear any of this beautiful rust and tin. Okay, so the, the paints that I have came in a, like I told y'all, it came in a set. And the set was to create a rusty look. Now, it was curated by DecoArt themselves, and you can get them at, I got mine at Michael's. And you can get them, and it comes in a, a set of four, and it comes with a texture paint, which I do love the texture paint. But for this project, there wasn't much to texturize. If I was doing an entire uh, rusty bucket, I would probably use that. And I do intend to show y'all that. I do intend to show y'all how to use it um, I'm going to paint one of the interchangeable signs that I've done this month, this year. I'm going to paint up one of those. I'm going to paint that rusty bucket. And I'm going to show y'all how to use those new texture paints that they just put out. It's, a, uh, I love them. I've played with them a few times and I think I've mastered them well enough to teach them. And I've looked for tutorials and so far I have not found one yet. I've looked high and low when I just when I got the email that they were putting them out. Um, I waited and waited and waited for them to hit my my store, and I ran. I did not walk. I ran because I love a good rusty, galvanized tin design, but I'm always afraid to put them out because it's not the easiest technique to, to achieve. All right, so here we go. There's our leaf sets. We're done with the green. Now it's moving on to the to those pretty uh, flowers. I called them poppies, but I don't think so. Hey, Katie. Hey, Mandy. Wish I wasn't working right now. I have the, you have the painting itch. <laughs> Mandy's my neighbor. <laughs> well, I guess she's not my neighbor anymore. I still consider you my neighbor, even though you moved. Her mom is my neighbor still. Hey, Erica and everyone, conference call ran long, so I have to rewatch the beginning on the replay. Oh, it'll be okay. This was fun. The We did the barrel first, and I had a blast doing that. Okay. Alrighty, so for the flowers, I'm going to flip it around so that they're closer to me and I'm not dragging my hand through wet paint. For the flowers, we're going to use coral shell. I know, that's why it's hard for me to put in my head that you've moved because you're there every day. Like you're, you're over, because they run a business too. They run a fishing business. They make uh, fishing baits and lures and they are called Funk Buster Spinner Baits. Making sure I said that right. Funk Buster, their last name is Funk, which is fun. That's fun to say. Um, and so it's Funk Buster Spinner Baits. And so they run their, their company out of their house too. I'm telling you, we live on a street, it's a cul-de-sac. We live on a cul-de-sac full of entrepreneurs. The guy across the street is a camp gladiator coach. Uh, we've got Brenda and Paul and Mandy next door with the spinner baits. We've got me over here holding the crafty side of the world down. Um, I think down the street, down the street, oh gosh, there's someone, there's someone else that does, um, oh gosh, what is it? I can't remember now. I, I knew all of them at one point. There's someone down the street in the actual cul-de-sac that has a business that they run from home as well. Oh, oh, Ori's wife, the Camp Gladiator coach that's uh, across the street, she runs a she makes tumblers, and I believe she's now a Camp Gladiator coach. And I'm telling you, entrepreneurs, especially on our street, they're the nicest people in the world. If I do say so myself. So far, all the people that I have mentioned off, nicest people on the street. Nicest people on the street. Hey, Megan. 
Funk Bus. Oh, did y'all take was was Spinner in there at one point? Funk Buster Bates. Okay, so I probably should have just base coated this all coral to begin with. Made my make my day easier. Well, you just tell me, Mandy, what you want. Just tell me what you want. My sister comes in and shops my miscuts. I get some that don't cut out as cl uh, cleanly. And she went on that retreat with me uh, last month. And she has the Peyton bug, too. She comes over about once a week and comes and grabs out of my, my um, needs-to-be-sanded-down stack. That's all that really, some of them come out pretty gnarly looking, but some of them just need to be sanded down. I have plans for that stack, but I haven't gotten to those plans anytime soon, and I don't plan on getting to them anytime in the near future. So if you want one out of the needs to be sanded pack and you don't mind sanding down the edge, you can come get you one. How's your retreat going, Dana? We, uh, okay, so I was having a hard time finding a hotel that has a conference room big enough for the amount of people that I want to invite. And every time I called, they would say, oh yeah, we've got one that can hold that many people. And I kept trying to explain to them, okay, so there's a difference in, you know, 30 to 50 note takers because their, their uh, banquet rooms are really set up as conference rooms and they called them banquet rooms. And I'm like, ooh, no, see, that's misleading. I'm gonna need y'all to not call that a banquet room because that's that's a conference room. Um, that's that's note taking tables. Like they're the half, like they're this they're this wide tables where you can just set like a drink and a notebook and take notes. And then there's banquet rooms where you can put six foot, eight foot tables. You know, actual paint party tables. And so I have, um, I have contacted a local agency that this is what they do. This is what they do as far as trying to connect you with a facility. And my goal is to have it to where the hotel and the venue are the same place. Like we just literally leave our hotel rooms and walk downstairs. Every retreat I've ever been to has been that way, and it was amazing. Now, I don't mind if it's a venue that has, like, cabins, and we walk down to the banquet hall that's, you know, down the walkway. You know, I just don't want anybody to have to get in their car and drive to the event hall every day. I want your room and your belongings to be within a short walking distance in case you need to go back and grab something or you know I don't want you to have to spend your entire couple of days here in the car I want you to enjoy it and I think I've talked to my mama into catering it my mama cooks for the church she is the um event coordinator for her church and she's been doing that for a long time and she's a good cook She's a good cook. So I was like, I think I've talked to mama into, as long as we don't have it at one spot, there's one place that requires us use their, their kitchen. And I'm not big on hotel food because it's overpriced. And so I'm trying not to have it there. It's over, overpriced. We can keep the, if food's included, I can keep the cost down for y'all if, I can have outside catering like Mama or a local restaurant that I have connections with. Hey, Sandy. Mine is a one-day event, and the closest hotel is 20 minutes away. So I don't mind driving. The closest hotel to me is five minutes away, but their banquet rooms, I say that loosely because they are not. They are as big as my living room. That is not a banquet room. Um, so those are out. I was really hoping those would be high contenders, but they're not. All right, the reason I'm blow drying this, even though we're about to lay the exact same color down with our shading coat, I'm blow drying it because I want more opacity. 
I don't want to move wet paint. Wet paint moves wet paint. And so if I want this to get darker and deeper and richer, I need to make sure this base coat is completely dry. Where are you planning this retreat? I am uh, Northwest Louisiana. If you've ever heard of Shreveport, Louisiana, I'm really close to Shreveport and Shreveport is looking like where it's probably gonna end up. Bossier is the closest city to me and Bossier just doesn't have a facility that is um, lodging and, and banquet room attached. So that's what I'm, I'm really hoping to have it you park and you, you paint. Like there's no getting back in the car to um, to get down to the actual retreat part itself. Okay, so Pam, where's yours gonna be? Is it gonna be, I, th I thought I read it somewhere. Are you in Arkansas? Okay, so we're gonna find the, the flower that's furthest in the back and that's these two flowers right here. And we're gonna work our way to the front, which is this flower right here. So we're gonna paint, I have that coral shell in white on my brush, half and half. And I'm just gonna pick a petal and just start working it in. I'm not, I'm not keeping any kind, I'm just lazy painting. Each petal set. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, and here. That things could get messy. There we go. You just wanna make sure it reaches somewhat to the center of each flower because you are gonna put centers of the flower, but you wanna make sure your petal sets are reaching deep enough into the center of the flower. That way you don't have to make a monstrous center, okay? So be very aware of how far you're bringing this in. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this one that's sitting next to it because it's it kinda sits in the back as well, but it sits on top of the one that we just painted. Okay, so just half and half paint on each each time you dip here and just do elongated circles, so ovals. You're painting oval and bringing it back in. So I'm planning to do mine probably in Shreveport, Louisiana with all the casinos. That, okay, so Dana, I'm gonna tell you right now, casinos are expensive on the weekends and I want to make sure that you're lodging is affordable. I did look at the casinos because I thought Margaritaville would have been an amazing place to have a retreat because there's some really good restaurants in Margaritaville. Um, but weekends are just expensive. They're just super expensive. And so to keep, um, to keep it affordable all the way around because your lodging will not be included in your ticket because I don't want anybody to feel held hostage at a hotel um, if you just don't want to stay there. So say, say you don't want to stay at the hotel, you still have the option to, to find your own lodging and drive every day, which some people do. I am not a fan of doing that only because I want to spend as much time at the retreat as possible with the people that I, you know, have just met because you don't get very many opportunities to paint in person together. A lot of times with the way that we have things set up and as far spread out as a lot of us are, the only way we can paint together is through an organized Zoom party, right? So I wanna make sure, uh oh, I should have painted this petal first. Let me go ahead and paint this petal real quick and then come back and repaint this while it's wet. Um, I had looked into some of the churches, um, like Mama's Church. Um, it would be a fun one to have a retreat at, but there's no lodging. So there, there's the problem again of getting back in the car every day at the start and stop. I love being able to paint late at night in my PJs with everybody. 
like we have a PJ paint night, which is gonna be part of our retreat. There's gonna be PJ paint night every night for the two nights that we're there so that you'll be able to, you know, after dinner, everybody go back to their rooms, get comfy. If you want a glass of wine, get you a glass of wine. If you want to uh, work on a project that you need to have finished by the time you get back home, and you have that dedicated time to work on a project. If you want to finish a project from the day that you didn't have time to finish because we were enjoying each other's company instead of painting, which happens, um, you can bust out one of your unfinished projects from the retreat and uh, work on that. Or you can just, you know, use the room to, to continue the party, like just to hang out and continue to get to know some people that you've been talking to online for couple years now because we haven't had any in the last year. Um, it has officially been over one year since I've, we've had a, a retreat like this other than the one that I just went to. That was the first one that I think I knew of. And there's some, there's, from what I understand, I was invited to a couple between now and the end of the year. There's one company and I cannot think of what it is because I'd never heard of the company before. But I want to say, um, I knew the, I know the person that's throwing it, but I had I didn't know that they had a business. Um, but they're throwing a retreat and it's Vegas themed. I think that's fun. Ours is going to be Christmas themed. So I want you to come and uh, I want to teach you some really cool uh, projects that you can use for fourth quarter. So my whole retreat is, it has business in mind. Now, is it a business retreat? No, but there's a lot of things that's going to happen that will keep you business mindseted if you have a business. So if you want to brainstorm, we do have a brainstorm session each day. Not everybody, you know, is not during the actual retreat. There's dedicated time for us all, all the business owners to sit down and throw some ideas against the wall in person, which is fun. Um, but it will not, the people who came to just craft, it will not hold them hostage, um, by a topic that they could care less about. So, um, so there's that. There will be some brainstorming. Um, there will be, there will be the, uh, PJ paint night. So there's some really fun laid back moments built in. Let's see. And it's all Christmas themed. So it's all, it's got fourth quarter in mind. That's what it was designed to do. That was the whole reason I wanted to throw one was I wanted to have one that could help you make money when you got back home. It was to help you plan out the rest of your craft shows or to help fill your booth with some new things. I'm so excited about it, y'all. Y'all know me. I love a good brainstorm session. I feel like it's one thing that keeps me tied into a community is being able to brainstorm with my sisters. And and I feel like being able to do it in person, kind of like a mastermind, would be beneficial to some of us. It's gonna be fun, I'm so excited about it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we are done. I'm gonna just kind of tap into that because that has Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna clean my brush. We are officially done with the coral. We're gonna pull a round brush. Oh, you're done, Mommy? Oh, no, not completely done, baby. I'm done with the coral. You're done with the coral? Yes, and we're gonna pull some banana cream. I like banana. I am 60 miles northeast of Memphis. Hate you are so far. Oh, well. I have gone to Memphis many times. I've done day trips to Memphis. I've, you know, done a few trips. All right, I'm just stippling with a round brush it's and some yellow. Brush. This is banana cream. No, it's flower, Mommy. It's a flower? Yes. What are those big flowers? Those are big, poofy flowers. I, I consider them big pink poppies. They're probably not. Someone someone who has actual floral edumacation, as my sister would say, will, will correct me. 
Can I help? Yeah, here. Grab my brush. Okay. And we're gonna go boop 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 boop. Okay, let me get some more paint. Grab my brush. Boop 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 boop. The sound does help. Okay. Thank you. That one's gonna be the best one. Okay. Let me do this last one because it has to be kind of perfectly placed. Okay. Well, you can help a little bit. Can we have some? Uh, can we have some flowers? Can we? Can we? All right. Can we have some purple? Y'all, we're done. Mommy, I was a, a little purple. I didn't pull the purple. I didn't pull any purple. We are done. All right, y'all, let's blow dry. Let's just hit it with the blow dryer because this coral is very, very wet. All right, here, let me see that. Can I help? In just a second. Here, let me blow dry because it doesn't have a very long cord. Let's open it up. Oh, you're in Texas. Okay. Well, that's not far at all. I'll send you the information once I have it, Pam. Hey, my problem is, I have all of my projects planned out. All of my projects are completely planned out. There's nine. We're gonna have nine projects over the two days. A little bit longer. Um, but I don't have anywhere to house it. Marie, 2 a.m. conversations included. I mean, if you want to have one, I mean, we do those well, don't we, Marie? <laughs> Roxana. Sounds awesome. Sounds like fun. Teresa and Alma is going to be a blast. I love a good retreat. I love a good retreat. I'm going to tell you right now, if y'all go to Pam's retreat, y'all are going to get some high-quality painting education. She does, she does some really nice painting. Look at the sheen of that. Look at the, look at that right there. They call it extreme sheen for a reason. I love it. Ah! I love it. Okay, so this one's not giving. I'm not giving this one up. I love this. I, okay, so Diana, thank you for requesting this one. That okay, so Diana requested it during our template request. Once a month, I put up a do you got a template request, and like I said, I sift through those, and if there's one that. I can do for the seasons. Now I do keep I keep a log of all the requests. So if it comes up in the fall okay, and it's time to mommy, and you've requested, mommy, mommy. I need to talk. You will come over here and talk. Oh, uh, uh, my daddy's at work. My daddy's at work. So <laughs> I've been Ariel. Oh yeah. She, okay. Show them, here. Hop up on the on the the. Yep. Show me your Ariel. She wanted to show y'all her Ariel dress. She looks like Ariel. Look, aren't you fresh? Mwah. You've been a good girl. Thank you. Um, so this was Diana's template request on that template request thread. Now she asked for it a couple months ago, but we finally were able to release it and we released two because I enjoyed designing that one so much and I felt like this would be an amazing craft show Mommy. or paint party design because y'all saw it looks involved but it's actually really simple repetitive it's really simple repetitive steps and we didn't have to clean up not once right so that means those are typically really good paint party options i want the paint my it with Pam I seal it with um, spray sealer I love Krylon triple thick if you like a brush on sealer if you don't use paint pen um, here's my trick with paint pen if you use a brush on I still keep a can of aerial aerosol spray okay and I lightly dust it with the aerosol spray and once that's cured I will come in with a, a, a brush sealer and brush it then if you use a paint pen um, brush on sealers reactivate the paint, the paint in the paint pen and will smear or, um, if you put it on really thick, will lift and float it across your design. So I recommend an aerosol, um, 
spray. I hate using aerosol anything. It's not my favorite thing, but with us being women, there's just things that we can't get away from like hairspray and dry shampoo and spray sealer. <laughs> um, they're just necessary evils because of what we do and what we have to, what we have to do to, to keep all this up, right? And what we have to do to keep all this up. I'm not a big fan of brush on sealers. Um, I can't wait to paint it. Diana, I am, I'm just so excited that, that this was requested. I've had the idea. I call them a bourbon barrel, actually. When you said a wine barrel, I was like, what's the difference between a wine barrel and a bourbon barrel? Nothing. Okay. Uh, I want to paint an aerial wood. I have an aerial wood. That's what she calls her little blanks. I will. I have an aerial wood for you. You've been really good. And so you, I want a blue one. I want a blue one. You want a blue one? Yeah. Okay, well, when I'm done talking to my friends, I'll get it out, okay? Okay, I'll... Um, Means I need to go cut one. Um, let's see. I love it. Miss Pamela likes your dress. What do you say? Thank you. And Miss Diana says you're so cute. What do you say? Thank you. Oh, Miss Deidre, the you know the lady that made your scrunchie holder. It has all your scrunchies and your and your headbands on it. Uh -huh. Miss Deidre says uh, you're so cute. Mm -hmm. You're precious, aren't you? She goes. Mm -hmm. Whoa. All right, all right, girls. Well, I am going to hop off and go get this seal since we have uh, a lull in all the rain because we have more coming. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> we have a lull in all the rain, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this sealed. I think. I don't know. I want to add something like a monogram to it, but I'm, I worked too hard on this section right here to cover it up. So y'all tell me in the comments below, what do you think I should do? Should I put a monogram on it? Should I leave it alone? Do you think it needs paint pen? I mean, do you think it needs paint pen? Y'all tell me, before we hop off, do we need paint pen? <gasps> Miss Pat says you're adorable. You look like your dad, because I look like my dad. <laughs> Braylon, Becca says hi. Your little friend, Becca, she says hi. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that means hi back. No paint pen. No paint pen. Oh, man. It looks great just as it is. Okay, thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Diana and Katie. Thank y'all. All right, Joy says she loves it. Leave it. Okay. Terry says... Is that yes, leave it or yes, paint pen, Terry? Oh no, these are, these are, these are the moments of our lives. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to leave it for right now. It's one of those moments where you walk away from it, go do something else and then come back and make your decision. Then if you're ever frustrated with something, stop what you're doing, walk away from it and, and come back and reevaluate when Good girl. Um, she was getting something, and she when she saw me look at her, she put it back down. And I was like, good girl. Okay, so um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go walk away, go load the car with some orders, go to the post office, and when I get back, I'll have fresh eyes, and I would not have looked at it for too long and overanalyzed it, and I'll make a decision then. I have a feeling I'm going to leave it alone. I think so. Add a place to the bottom with howdy. Ooh. Okay, so that I, okay, so that was the other thing I was thinking. I thought I thought I was gonna make a 3D tag and place the tag somewhere. I think I'm gonna make a template that has the tag on it um, because y'all really liked y'all really liked the mason jar with the tag. So I think I'm gonna make a one with the tag on the bourbon barrel too. I think that'll be a cute one, but it'll. I think I'm gonna make a 3D tag and put the Wallaces on it. Do not touch it with a paint pen. Marie says, don't you dare touch it. Don't you dare touch it. Can y'all tell the, the restiness? Like, just the hint of rest. I didn't want it to be overpowering. Just a hint. I love this little spot of it. And this little Vanna White in here. Get that Vanna White skill. That little spot. I love that. Okay. Just looked at the template, and it needs paint pen. Okay. And it needs paint pen. Okay. 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 I think... Now y'all got me confused. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to, 
I'm gonna look at it with fresh eyes. I'm gonna look at it with fresh eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go to the post office, come back, and I'll look at it with fresh eyes. I'll see y'all later. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I will see you later. Tomorrow is so back Thursday. So tune in tomorrow at 10 a.m. to see what we're gonna paint together for Throwback Thursday. It's gonna be something from last year. Um, so if you have any guesses, let me know.